Hi there everyone, Matt here. I hope you're well. Are you using Microsoft 365? If you are, would you like to know how to back up Azure Active Directory for free? If so, stick around because that is exactly what I'm going to talk about in this video. As I've said before, Microsoft do not natively back up your cloud services. That is your responsibility to do so. Um, and as such, backing up Azure AD, which for a lot of cloud first or cloud native businesses is a crucial part of, of, of the Microsoft 365 universe just simply isn't happening. So if there's a problem or something gets deleted or you need to get a record back um, and it's gone past the retention period in the recycle bin, it's gone and it's gone for good. Or if there's a threat actor who's in there trashing your data and you don't know about it, again, it's, it's, it's gone forever. Um, I'm going to show you how you can back this up for free today for absolutely zero cost. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop selling it. I'm going to get on the tools. I'm going to uh, show you the customer and PowerShell module you need from uh, from GitHub. I'm going to show you how you can back this up for nothing um, and how you can instantly protect your business in just a few minutes uh, if you've got some free time this weekend. So uh, let's go over to my PC and head over and do that uh, now. And we're back. Um, so you can see here I've Googled the Azure AD exporter tool and for me it's the top result in Google. So let's open up the GitHub repository. Um, we can see here the first thing we need to do is install the module. So let's copy that piece of code. I've got PowerShell open as administrator here. I'm just going to pop that in. It's going to take a minute for the repository to come up and say it's untrusted. Uh, do you want to install it? Yes, we do. It's going to whiz through in a few seconds and that's the module done and installed quick and easy as that. The next thing we're going to have to do is connect to uh, the tool and that is going to ask us to um, connect our Azure AD tenant. Um, I'll show you what that looks like now. In fact, I actually think I've already granted permission to this, but what would happen is you would get a preview page saying that uh, the graph application needs permission to your tenant and that you need to um, allow that and it would have a list of the permissions. Um, you just need to accept it if you want to use the tool. That's all good. So once we've done that, what we then need to do is export our Azure AD tenant. Now, there are going to be some warnings come up because I'm only on an E3 license. I'm not on E5. There are certain parts of Azure AD that this tool tries to back up, like PIM, for example, uh, and access reviews in the security center. But I can't touch that because it's not in my license type. So you will see some errors come up on the screen. Uh, my path is actually it's going to be C temp. AAD backup, I believe that's correct. So if we just open that up, we can see here, don't have anything there at the moment. So let's go ahead and start backing up our Azure AD tenant. And we can see here, this is already starting to fill up with some information, which is nice, perfect, ideal. And this is just going through and iterating through our Azure AD tenant and backing it up. Now, I appreciate that this is on a local machine and that's not ideal. I'm just demonstrating how in just a few minutes you can literally, there's, there's the errors I started talking about. Um, you can get this done for free today if you're not backing up your Azure AD what's the harm you know even if you're the administrator of the company or you're the sysadmin whatever you want to call yourself an it help desk person um you can do this today and help protect your business from threats i just don't see why it'd be a bad thing to do um so i'm going to take us back into the living room to wrap the video up and uh yeah see you in just a second and there we have it so uh, in this video, I've shown you how you can back your Azure AD up for absolutely nothing, nada, gratis. Um, ideally, you wouldn't back it up to some local storage, obviously. Um, but if you're not backing it up, what's the harm in getting that set up today? Maybe you've got a big change coming up in Azure AD. Maybe you want to have a clear out and delete loads of old accounts and you just want to make sure that you've got a fallback point in case you need one of them again. This kind of tool could, could really help someone in that situation. In an ideal world, to use it as a backup, you would um, connect that to some uh, Azure automation. So you'd automate the PowerShell scripts. You would then have some Azure storage so that um, it was in the cloud and accessible from anywhere and that storage would be locally or geo-replicated for its own protection. Um, but you know you can take it as far as you want to. I'm just showing you that these tools exist and a way that you can very cheaply and easily get started. Um, if you got this far, thank you 
very much for watching. Your support is greatly, greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please, please engage with it, like it, share it, comment on it. I really thrive from the engagement and, uh, and it keeps me motivated to keep bringing you quality content on a weekly basis. Um, well, at least I hope you think it's quality content anyway. Um, again, thank you very much everyone for your support and I will look forward to seeing you all next week. Thanks.